This is crazy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing <clears throat> Silent Thunder. It's a new War Thunder, or, yeah, a new War Thunder game mode. And I'm going to slowly increase my voice. So volume, volume, volume warning. Holy cow. This, I haven't even played it yet. I'm just looking at it. We're going to hop right into the action once we just kind of talk about it for a split second. This is a new game mode to War Thunder. No testing, out of the blue, no pun intended, you know, out of the, like a, summer, or a surfacing submarine. And then you look to the right and it's April Fool's. Or it's almost April Fool's. Uh, this, again, is a joke. But not, not a full joke. Because last year for April Fool's, we had modern MBTs. T90s and Leopards. And now in the game, we have T64s, MBTs, Abrams, or Abrahams. Nice man. And T64 Bravos and Leopards. Well, not the, you know. This, in my opinion, is 100, <clears throat> excuse me, 100% a testing for War Thunder Naval Forces. How much is it going to make it over? How much is the is a test going to uh, succeed? We don't know yet, but they're wanting to make submarines happen. And I feel like that that could work in War Thunder Naval Forces, uh, but we'll have to test it out. And testing it out, uh, we shall do. And the first submarine we're going to be using today is the Yasin, Yasin class nuclear sub, which is a Russian sub. And look at how massive this thing is. Um, this thing has, holy crap, we got cruise missiles, I believe. Hang on, let, 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 Oh, gosh. So the Yasin is faster than the other submarines. The other submarines, by the way, are the uh, Virginia class. And I can't find the devlog for the um, Vanguard. I mean, I can find the link, but it doesn't bring me to the proper devlog. Uh, but this submarine is the fastest, uh, but also makes more noise. Armament consists of cruise missiles stored in eight vertical launching tubes, which are right here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, and guided torpedoes stored in 10 torpedo tubes that are located in the bow. Guided not only by sonar, but wire too. So once these leaves, or once the torpedo leaves the um, the uh, the tube, I don't know how it can be stopped. But before we go any further in today's video, today's video is brought to you guys by Swagbucks. Swagbucks is a site where you can watch videos, shop online, and take surveys and redeem it for gift cards, Steam gift cards, and more precisely for us, Golden Eagles. And if gift cards aren't your thing, you can get cash back via PayPal. So check out the link in the description below. Sign up now for a $5 sign up bonus when you complete your first survey. Thank you, Swagbucks, for the sponsor. So without further ado, <laughs> uh, let's just go to events and submarine, there it is, okay, so We'll just maybe play as the Russian and hopefully that will give us a Russian submarine. Here we go. We're going to spawn. I'm going to spawn at the uh, the north. So W is uh, slow down and go or forward and backwards. A and D is rudder control. E and Q is depth control. And oh my goodness gracious, what's going on? Let's slow down. We're at 82 meters. Whoa. Let's not. Okay. We got this is like an airplane. But in water, you know, there's there's three dimensionals, not 2.5 if you're in, in tanks and such. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. Oh, can we surface? Oh! Sorry, there's ice there. Repairing ship. I fucked something up bad. Okay, so um, Q and E is up and down. Um, oh God, are we are we dying? Let's go. Up, 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 up. There we go. Okay, we're stationary. All right. Uh, space is torpedo. This is how we control the ship. Uh, but Q and E is a faster way to go up and down. And uh, F is to toggle. Torpedo active sonar. And R is to toggle self-homing. Left ship is to toggle view on torpedo. And V is active... Um, active sonar which we really don't want to use too much just because that will give away our position quite easy. Just because we'll send out a radar or a sonar and other submarines are uh, can easily detect us. And then G are noisemakers. Let's go ahead and see how that works. So I guess those will fool 
um, homing submarines and such like that. Let's go ahead and um, shoot a torpedo over in this direction. Okay, we're out. And we'll steer like this. And as you can see, the top left is how we're going to guide it. Oh, we have a submarine way... Oh, down, 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 to down, down, to down, down. Yeah, two kilometers out. Uh, let's go ahead and slow our ship down to a stop. Just because I don't... Uh-oh, okay. He, he, he disappeared a little bit. Whoa, what the fuck is this laser beam? Here we go. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Torpedo. Uh, G. Torpedo to port. I think we have. No, 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 no. Noisemaker out. Scratch one. So that was pretty easy. Hole break on another sub of my class. I'm going to surface. We're going to go ahead and press E here. Oh, look at this. I'm about to take off, guys. Hang on. Stand by. Neutralize ballast tanks. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Oh, my gosh. She's beautiful. Now, how do I launch the cruise missiles? Oh, huh, maybe you can't launch cruise missiles yet. Let's see. Control submarine weaponry. There's a uh, torpedo right underneath us. We're going to dive here. I can't figure out how to use my... Um, what do you want to call it? Cruise missiles yet. And I know we have them on this kind of uh, ship. So the red line is my audible. As you see, as we reduce speed or full engine stop... My submarine becomes very, very quiet, so it's hard for enemies to spot me with listening. The green line is my active range or active radar range. So if someone has active radar in, inside of that, I believe, or vice versa, they can detect me and I can detect them. Okay, let's go full stop. Huh, I wonder why we got smaller even though our engine's on. So as you can see, we just dropped a noisemaker. And in this... Whoa. That was a very loud noise. In this um, orb, we can't be detected. Or we're invisible to enemies. So I'm going to launch one right now. We're going to guide this thing in. Uh-oh, what does that mean? I think that guy... Oh, that guy, like, like is trying to snipe me with his... What does this red line do? Yeah, I don't know how far this guy's away. Okay, we got one two kilometers away. And I think the only reason why we can find this guy is because he's he's being loud with his submarine. Okay, someone just got that guy. I wonder if we can pop active radar or sonar right now. Uh, I'm going to go this way. And we're going to dodge this um, landmass. Got one. But he's three, he's 3,000. Well, I only have 3,000 meters more to go. Okay, I think this one's going to be a dud. Oh, submarine active sonar or torpedo active sonar. 900 meters away. Oh my gosh, okay. That looks really close. Torpedo. Oh! Torpedo to port. Oh no! I should have just kept going lower. We dodged one coming in from the, uh, from the bow. And I think some players have it set to where the torpedoes will just passively go search around for stuff to kill. 
I think I know where I want to go to, though. Right down below here. And we're going to cut engines very, very soon once we get to this depth. Okay, balance her out. Yikes. Oh. That made a very loud sound. Okay, full stop. Full stop, full stop. Balance out the tanks. Okay, and we're repairing. Let's go ahead and turn our submarine this way so we can fire out a little bit. We had a damage ship again. Okay, turn the submarine this way. Ba oh, fuck. Wrong button to press right there. Full stop. And we are going to fire some on passive or self-homing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't crash into the thing. Remote guidance. R. Self-homing. All right. Good luck. Turn! Okay, we got one five kilometers away. Oh, what is this thing? This guy looks kind of dangerous. Do you think he's dead? Huh. We'll fire another one. I think that's what, that, that was a dead teammate of ours. I just want one more kill to kind of get the hang of it. Yeah, there he is down there. Oh, we just passed a um, torpedo. We're going to drop a, a noisemaker. And we're going to call... Torpedo oh, we're ahead. dead. I think it missed us, actually. There's another torpedo. Okay, we have five kilometers to go with this thing. Torpedo dead ahead. Oh, I think we're dead. We found two. Come here, guys. Oh, no. Someone just took that kill before we could get it. God damn it. I wonder why we're so loud, though, right now. Maybe because we just fired that torpedo. Okay, we're going to head to the same spot. Torpedo. Another noisemaker. I don't think noisemakers... Noisemakers don't matter unless um, it's remotely or um, it's um, auto-homing. Okay, we're going to start flashing some active sonar with our torpedo. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Got one. Got one. Yes. We will just be in range, I believe. Oh, he's, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Center of mass shot. Yes, there we go. Okay. We got one dead and we can fire one more. Oh, this is just out of our range. We have one seven kilometers away. Let's go ahead and start the engines up. We're going to move quick. We're going to get closer range. But now look at our audio level going up. Gosh, we can be heard, heard from kilometers away right now. Okay. Ah, oh. we suffered a defeat. Um, I don't really know how we lost, other than just tickets drain.
But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. We're going to be playing some more on my live stream. So uh, follow the Twitter, just stick around uh, the Twitch channel or the YouTube channel today to get notified. And maybe uh, we'll be able to kind of be more efficient in these submarines. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Hope to see you guys there. Peace out.